Good afternoon. Thank you for coming, members of the jury. So, I'm Szabolcs Barakonyi. My project title called Trail, Forensic Aesthetics. There's a quote, the member of the jury, you get it in the PDF, so you know it already. Um, the most exciting question for me is the relationship between the sense of reality and the photograph. For the past nearly seven years, I have been involved in the real forensics, trying to learn and do the job of a forensic technician with a camera. The setting and technical parameters of my images are as far as possible in the line with the methodology to allow the photograph to become a material evidence. The research and the logic of their creation follow exactly the thinking and the eyes of police professionals working at the crime scene. The aim is to create a credible document that can be used as the investigative stage and in a criminal proceedings, needless to say it, therefore inherently devoid of any artistic intent by nature. I have not become a qualified police photographer. However, during the fellowship, I was able to practice as an observer for a second time at the Police Education Training Center's technical photography practice. And here a little break, that's the place. A few things about and why I'm not using these images, for, images from this place. Being there is tentating enough, atmosphere, strong visuals at every corner, but fake conclusions, I think. Dangerous to mix with the real ones. The stage ones can spoil the power of the reality. The badly equipped, they are, dead, they are dead badly equipped there. That's why the picture from there looks a bit ridiculous or dodgy. And I think, I, uh, I would like to talk, uh, if I would like to talk about the nature of the documents, I cannot use this kind of irony, humor, surrealistic touches. The real world is surreal enough as, I even, as I've seen through the police eyes, I think so. Maybe this one looks a little bit more exciting, but I used instead of in the real one, uh, uh, which is a real home. Uh, I needed this disorder to be aware, to be there, I needed this in order to be aware of the crime scene technician studies from the photography image making aspects and working methods so that I could adhere there as well. So back to the real work. My non-disclosure agreement allowed me to review years of police archives. I needed later to familiarize myself with the aesthetic to realize documents. My series is basically built on these two foundations. It's very common in photography for authors to tell a story with pictures. In such a case, each photograph has its place, role, and its meaning in the narrative. This can add up a final meaning. My photographs taken before and after the fellowship do not tell a story of the individual crimes, nor do they give us an accurate picture of their solutions. Altogether, they are able to present a world unknown to us, visible only to the eyes of the victims, the perpetrators, and the police. From a, <clears throat> from a technical photographic point of view, the task of the forensic examination is easy to understand. The consistent application of forensic technicians' methodology gives a set of rules under which the pictures are taken. Field inspection is one and cannot be repeated. Its aim is to collect and record as much information as possible, and later to accurately read, interpret, and unreveal it. The physical evidence is found that the scene carries more weight than the witness testimony. By learning and mastering an objective and precise image capturing method, the photograph can be reconstructed as a document. It is important the images appropriated from the police environment must not be compromised in the system of material evidence, must not depart 
from the nature and rules of forensic photographs so that the aesthetics of each photograph can be further constructed while their role as a document are enhanced. However, the word is forensic in a different form and role is increasingly present in more and more places, in TV series, detective stories, public discussions, and everyday life. It has found its place in a number of disciplines in culture, and of course, and the visual, the visual arts are no exceptions. Artistic approaches usually deal with issues that explore the document as an evidence via legal and ethical questions. If we look at the issue from a visual point of view, only those images can be appropriated that remain fully consistent with a real document used in the investigated and evidential process. The visual quality of field recording also depends on coincidences. And these are the most interesting situations. These are mostly caused by the technical shortcomings of the equipment and the photographic techniques of people who took them, despite or in addition to the strict requirements of the system, recording can still retain their authentic document status. We tend to focus on homicides, while minor crimes paint much broader picture of our society. Their less identifiable toolboxes leave us with more readable, interpretable system, more readily interpretable system. The outside eye, the most exciting photographs are those that make us feel uncomfortable at the first glance and are more about the mystery surrounding the crime. These, uh, there are few things that can excite our brain more than pursuit of the, of the truth. The consumption of crime stories enable us to work with our own fears and aggressive impulses without being aware of it. But curiosity, the unveiling of the, of the mystery is now a fully cognitive activity. It is also worth keeping in mind that certain information can change our attitudes uh, in an instant. If we look at the picture of a house and only know what we see, our minds are likely to go in completely different direction. But if we are told that the crime has been committed on this side, the way we are looking at it changed forever. It is also the initial image, the first image that officer sees when arriving at address, and in many cases, the first image in the photo appendix of the report. Most people always accept the worst case scenario. All of the time, all of, all of the images shown here are taken at scene, scenes of minor crimes and never against life. Yet most of the objects are capable of becoming a murder weapon in our imagination by proximity of the concept of crime. Uh, <clears throat> the, original <clears throat> the original concept of continuously developed as I did the project. As I went on in a training, my relationship with the documents also uh, elaborated. I had the opportunity to rethink my original thesis as I proceed in my work. For example, <clears throat> during the editing process, I avoided uh, attractive but messy solutions uh, in order to keep the focus on the photos, uh, photos authenticity. I decided to narrow down the represent world by rejecting any of the advantages, advantages of doing so. In the end, I only used some traces of these. The main idea was to leave out of workplaces, industrial uh, buildings, small shops, offices, any appearances as well as situations that would dep depict the police work. I have become familiar with historical photography and contemporary art projects based on and drawing from the world of crime. 
My aim is to bring spontaneously generated self-assembling aesthetic system from the criminal forensic environment into the artistic place, space. We can even call this the aesthetics of forensics. In sorting through my own archives of thousands of photographs, I also used the system I had discovered in the archives and learned at the training. The things we see in my photographs are ordinary homes and objects, but because of their role and because of they are photographed at the scene of crime, they can represent the vulnerability of the shell of our homes and our everyday lives, even the fragile nature of own, so, of, of own society. During my presentation, I tried to show images connected to the text, but my approach varies. The crime scenes are very, very silent. So I have some time left. I let you observe for a couple of minutes just the pictures themselves. And maybe at the end I have another personal story from the crime scenes. I'm just dealing with the time. Sorry. Maybe I should start the final story because of the time. So I would like to share a very, very personal one and I never uh, told before in public. And it's about my mustache, which is really strong connection in the project. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Because at the beginning it was really, really hard to get into to the team as a completely outsider who just say, I'm an artist. And this uh, kind of uh, really uh, masculine and hierarchic uh, 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 organization uh, never let uh, anybody from the outside. And it was uh, very clumsy situations when I arrived to the police headquarters and tried to get in and I'm standing at the desk and I said, okay, I'm an artist guy. Okay, but what do you want? I would like to go in and uh, situation after situation, I, 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 I felt I have to find out something and I, and I, and I grow this mustache uh, because it's, it, it's kind of camouflage, it's totally referred to the whole the system and, and the police has mustache, the artist guy has mustache, so it's a, it's a, it's a union between these two worlds. Uh, but once happened, the uh, former president of Hungary signed a sign a law, and he also has a mustache. And as a political decision, and show where I'm standing, I shaved my mustache off, uh, and I posted a, 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 a family portrait 
uh, on the social media during the during the demonstration, and uh, in the next uh, following day, I got just a phone call from Debrecen, from uh, Major Attila Kirai, who is here now. He was the head of the <coughs> uh, forensic technical department at the city police station, and he just, he just asked me, Saboj, what did you do? We should start it all over again. So, thank you for your attention, and I finished it, but I, I have some leftover. <laughs> it's a bad timing, but <clears throat> funny ending, okay. <clears throat>